Operation Torch in November 1942 was a compromise operation that met the British objective of securing victory in North Africa while allowing American armed forces the opportunity to engage in the fight against Nazi Germany on a limited scale. In addition, as Joseph Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union, had long been pleading for a second front to be open to engage the Wehrmacht and relieve pressure on the Red Army, it provided some degree of relief for the Red Army on the Eastern Front by diverting Axis forces to the North African theater. Over half the German Ju-52 transport planes that were needed to supply the encircled Axis forces at Stalingrad were tied up supplying Axis forces in North Africa. Senior U.S. commanders were strongly opposed to proposed landings in Northwest Africa. After the Western Allied Combined Chiefs of Staff, CCS, met in London on July 30, 1942 General George Marshall and Admiral Ernest King declined to approve the plan. Marshall and other U.S. generals advocated the invasion of Northern Europe later that year, which the British rejected. After Prime Minister Winston Churchill pressed for a landing in French North Africa in 1942, Marshall suggested instead to President Franklin D. Roosevelt that the U.S. abandon the Germany first strategy and take the offensive in the Pacific. Roosevelt said it would do nothing to help Russia. With Marshall unable to persuade the British to change their minds, President Roosevelt gave a direct order that Operation Torch was to have precedence over other operations and was to take place at the earliest possible date, one of only two direct orders he gave to military commanders during the war. The landing started on 8 November, and finished on 16 November. In an attempt to pincer German and Italian forces, Allied forces, American and British Commonwealth, landed in Vichy held French North Africa under the assumption that there would be little to no resistance. Nevertheless, Vichy French forces put up a strong and bloody resistance to the Allies in Oran and Morocco, but not in Algiers, where a coup d'état by the French resistance on 8 November succeeded in neutralizing the French 19 Corps before the landing and arresting the Vichy commanders. Consequently, the landings met no practical opposition in Algiers, and the city was captured on the first day along with the entire Vichy African Command. After three days of talks and threats, Generals Mark Clark and Dwight Eisenhower compelled Vichy Admiral Francois Darlin and General Alphonse Joie to order the cessation on 10-11 November of armed resistance from Vichy forces in Oran and Morocco, promising to make Darlin the head of a free French administration. During Operation Torch, Americans fought Vichy French and German Navy vessels in the naval battle of Casablanca, which ended in an American victory. The Allied landings prompted the Axis occupation of Vichy France, Case Anton. In addition, the Italians captured the French fleet at Toulon, which did them little good, as the main portion of the fleet had been scuttled to prevent their use by the Axis. The Vichy Army in North Africa joined the Allies.